entering the Earth's atmosphere, and I'm about to make visual contact with the Earthlings. Be careful. These creatures are very strange. They watch a little box called TV. They ride in little boxes called cars. And they wear high-top sneakers. I am prepared. Turn back! Turn back! What is it? What's wrong? The Earthlings, they're worse than strange. They're wrong. than a speeding turtle, more powerful than a skateboard, able to leap two or three feet in, oh, a couple of tries. It's a plane! It's a plane! Nope, it's Super Nerd! Oh, yeah, sure, right. Here they are, free candy bars. I love chocolate. Yum! What? Stop! Where is that junior janitor, Nat Nerd? I need my wastebasket emptied. Hi, I'm here. Anyone have trash for me? I sure hope you have some trash for me, Lois. Nat, you are such a nerd. Why can't you be more like super nerd? <sighs> super nerd? Nat nerd? Same last names. I wonder, could it be? Nah. Well, gee, Lois. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I am... Stop the presses. Lex Lumpy's back in town. I'll save you, Lois. What are you doing? Only Super Nerd can fly. Ah! I'm not scared. Super Nerd will save me. He always does. to save Nat Nerd. He jumped out the window after Lois. Super Nerd? You've got Nat Nerd's shoes on. Oh, well, then I'd better get the rest of him. Funny. He didn't pass me going down or up, or down or up again. That nerdy Nat Nerd can't even fall out of a window the right way. Come on, let's find out what Lex Lumpy is up to. Pussy cat in distress. This is a job for Super Nerd. Where, where can I change? Oh well, better than nothing. Where is that cat anyway? Here, kitty, kitty. Where are you, kitty? 
kitty. Like taking a candy store from a baby. I'll never find that kid. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? That's Lex Lumpy's robot. Follow that candy store. Jeez. Now, turn to the left. So, when did you first become a robot? Is it fun? What's your favorite color? Enough questions! I've got evil to do! Uh-uh! Super Nerd will stop you! Wrong! I've got a secret weapon! You! I wouldn't do this if I were you! Nobody tells Lex Lumpy what to do! I've got to help Lois! Scram! I've got more candy stores to steal. Oops! Super nerds got to help Lois. Help me, super nerd! Lois, I'll save you! Hmm. Stealing candy stores is one. But nobody takes Lois Lane Brain. And nobody tells Lex Lumpy what to do. Like some gum? Who can play that game? He's got a candy cannon! substance that can weaken you. Welcome, Miss Lame Brain, to Luffy Island. I get bored. So every month I steal something new and different. Last month toys, this month candy stores. Yum! Is there no end to your evil? Mm, no, I'm really not so bad, Miss Lame Brain. I just want it all. Super Nerd will stop you. Oh no, he won't. See for yourself. I put Super Nerd in an inescapable doom trap. He'll never get out. As you sip your ice cream soda, we have some entertainment. Behold, the end of Super Nerd! No, don't hurt him! Forget him, Lois! You can have all the candy you want here with me! Yuck! With you? Never! So, you want to be with Super Nerd? Then you shall pop with him! I hope you like popcorn, because very soon that aluminum It's worse than you think, Lois. There's no salt and no butter. It's inhuman. <gasps> I guess Lex Lumpy has won. No, you're our only hope. Huh? These ropes are made of green licorice. It weakens me. But you can eat through them. I can't. I'm on a diet. You can gain a couple of pounds now or lose weight permanently. Well? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, okay. Yeah. I won! Let's look me! It's all over! You're going to jail! Nobody tells Let's Lumpy what to do! Oh no? Wanna bet? But Super Nerd! I've won! I've won! Super Nerd chicken out! I'm the most evil villain of all! And nobody can tell me! Is that so, Lexi? Oh no! Mommy! Let's 
Slumpy, what's this about you stealing candy stores? You know you can't have candy. Now you return all those stores and those video games. Then you clean up your room and brush your teeth, and tonight you eat all your broccoli. I found the one person who could tell Lex Lumpy what to do. My hero! Kids, are you bothered by older sisters who think they can bust into your room anytime they feel like it? You could come in my room. Then you need the sister alarm. Easy to install and guaranteed to keep out pesty sisters of any age or size. The sister alarm works every time. And now it's time for a garbage pail groaner. <laughs> Well, this is nothing. I have lots more. Where? In the bathtub. What do you do when you take a bath? I blindfold them. Oh. And this class is the famous self-portrait of Vincent Van Gogh. This is the blue boy George, the Mamma Mia, but no portrait is as famous as the Mona Loser, which we are about to see. It's horrible. It's a disaster. It's very bad. What's the matter? It's the Mona Loser. She's been defaced. She's frowning. We must close the museum and investigate. I don't know. One minute she was smiling, the next, boom! Maybe she saw Mrs. Gallagher. Oh, Kit, be nice. Yow! Help! Help! I've got you, Terry. <laughs> then again, maybe it's got me. What do we do now? I see we rip the painting up and pull Patty and Terry out of there. I don't think that's a good idea. I think we're going to have to follow them into the painting. You call that a painting of my beautiful wife? Well, that's nothing but chicken scratches. Where what are do we? You know about art. What's that? Chicken scratches. Ping the painting. Shh, listen. I hired Leonardo de Squinty to paint my wife, and what do I get? Finger painting. What do you know about art? We must be in 16th century Italy. And that must be the Mona Loser. Blech. No wonder she's frowning. I am the greatest painter in all Italy, and that is your wife, Mona Loser. Ha! Now leave this house. Don't worry, my darling. We'll find a real artist to paint your portrait. Excuse me, Mr. Loser. You don't understand. Leonardo must finish the Mona Loser. Not while I'm around. Say, who are you kids? What are you doing in my house? Go on, get out of here. Mr. Desquinty, wait! Quick, we can still catch him! Ah! Any more bright ideas, Elliot? Yeah! Follow that gondola! Aye, aye, sir! No! Wait for us first! Let me see what I can do! All aboard! Do you see him, Elliot? <laughs> Nothing yet. Wait, there he is. He's turning.
Thank you, driver. Mr. Squinty, wait! I have no time to wait. I must get back to work. You're gonna finish the Mona Loser? Bah! Mona Loser. I'm giving up painting. I'm going back to my workshop and return to my inventions. Oops! <laughs> Wrong workshop. I think yours is next door. I'm going to be famous with my inventions. I can fly with this. Really, hop on. I'll take you for a ride. It, it's gonna work. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah! See what did I told you? Stick to painting, Leonardo. No more. I'm gonna go to the Tower of Pisa and think this through. You mean the Leaning Tower of Pisa? What do you mean, leaning? It stands perfectly straight. I built it myself. What are you going to have? Gee, I don't know. Is that better? No, it was uh, better the other way. He can't see a thing. I know. Why don't we order, Mr. Desquinty? We'll have a pepperoni and mushroom pizza with extra cheese. And extra anchovies. But, Mr. Desquinty, you've got to finish the Mona Loser. Senior Loser hates my painting. He'll never let me near his wife again. Now, how can I paint what I can't see? Boy, is that ever the truth. Are we going to eat? Or what? Don't worry, Mr. Desquinty. You'll get your chance to paint Mona Loser somehow. Sure made a monkey out of you. What are we doing back here? Set your easel up and you'll see. Okay, guys, let's do it. Right. No problem, as long as I have my skeleton key. Excuse me, ma'am. What? Who are you? We're friends of Leonardo de Squinny. Why are you frowning? Because I wanted Leonardo to paint the most beautiful portrait of me. He will. With a little help, now try and smile. What are you doing, Elliot? I'm looking for frames. These will do nicely. This is your weirdest idea ever, Elliot. Mona, you've come back to me. This isn't Mona, it's Terry. Brilliant. A perfect likeness. S sit, sit. Let me paint you. I've already got the background done, see? Terrific. Elliot, better get here quick, or this will never work. Look up and to the right, now smile. You call that a smile. I had a little trouble with the mouth. 
Well, here goes nothing. Wait! Hold the brushes! Before you start, try these glasses on. Uh, what are glasses? Just try them on, you'll see. <laughs> no, no, let me show you. There, see? Yes, I do see. And now I can paint. You! The mouth! I almost had it! How dare you show your face around here? Look what you've done! I almost had the mouth and you ruined it! It's brilliant! Don't touch it! But the mouth! I like it just the way it is! It'll be the greatest painting in history! Well, it's perfect! You can wipe that silly smile off your face now, Terry. <laughs> yep, the Mona Loser smiles again. Come on, we better get home. What have you kids been doing? I've been looking all over for you. Gee, Mrs. Gallagher. Look, the Mona Loser. She's smiling again. What did you kids do to that painting? Who? Us? Nothing, Mrs. Gallagher. Nothing. Today, the Garbage Pail Award goes to the best babysitter. And when Sydney asked me out, I thought I'd die. Johnny, would you get me a glass of water? So, anyways. Jenny, would you change the channel on the TV? So, anyways. So, today's award goes to Johnny and Jenny for 